I need copies of every talk screen you've done for Dr. Scorpio in the last month. Great, I'll be down in a few minutes. Something needs to be done about Dr. Ford. If he makes any more changes in the admission policy, we won't have patients left to treat. Now, we need to get the staff together for me a night at front for the next board meeting. Yeah, I'm not big on administrative policy. Yeah, well, maybe so. Every patient that comes through these doors has the right to treatment, whether they can afford it or not. Agree? I, I don't have time to help right now. Not in your eye. It's nothing. You know, when Robin came into your life, I watched you evolve from, a, from an arrogant show-off to a caring physician. I would sure hate to see you backsliding over a broken heart. Well, Dad, it's a little more complicated than that right now, okay? Hey, I made copies of all the labs on this special project. What? I think if we work together, we can isolate the toxin sooner. No, 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 absolutely not. Robin, you need my help on this. You can help by minding your own business. You know what? You need to drop the personal drama and focus on your work. That is why you're here, right? Nobody's sorry than I am that you two couldn't find a way to make your relationship work, believe me. But whatever animosity you have towards each other should be left at the door. This hospital's in crisis. Not only is Dr. Ford emerging as the strongest candidate for chief of staff, but MedCamp's positioning for takeover. So if you guys care about your patients, you need to drop the personal drama and focus on the big picture. This hospital cannot afford to have doctors who do not conduct themselves in a professional manner. You're right, I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Look, you know, I'm sorry if I came up sounding harsh. It had to be said. There are some personal situations a lot more serious than you can even understand. I think I was being too hard on it. You were being honest. Robin and Patrick have got to find a way to work together or the patients are going to suffer. Not that I'm in any position to judge. I mean, breakups are hard enough as it is. Can't imagine what it must be like to have to work with a person who left you. 